Yo, what is going on, my friends? Long time no talk. Sorry for my absence. I had some some changes happening in life, and uh, in addition to that, I was having some some technical difficulties for a little while. But I have since resolved the technical issues. I now have a computer that will do pretty much anything. Uh, so that uh, that's how I'm going to be delivering content to you moving forward. I have some some different setup stuff going on with the videos moving forward. I hope you guys like it. Uh, and I am learning uh, how to do it all through o o la la la. <laughs> OBS. So uh, bear with me. There might be some additional updates uh, moving forward as well. But today we are going to be talking about quick save settings in iPogo. Now, what uh, what do I mean by quick save settings in iPogo? Well, this is what I mean by quick save settings. So if we head on over here to settings, we will see a lot of different good stuff in here. But the one we're talking about today is import export settings. Okay. Now, this is going to be more helpful to the individuals that might be using a free method and therefore have to reinstall every seven days for a fresh certificate. And this will be extra helpful for those individuals, uh, like I just said. <laughs> but uh, anyone can use it. I use it myself. It, uh, it's, it's pretty helpful. There's a, there's a lot of different stuff in iPogo that you might be using or not using and uh, having to go through and, and reset all that up every time. Uh, it can be a little time consuming, especially if you've got VIP settings and you know there's even more stuff going on there. But this is pretty simple. Anything that you do or save as a preference will be stored in this section right here, including your favorited GPS coordinates, uh, any personal coordinates you might have, all that good stuff, it's in here. So if, let's say, you have to or you know you're going to have to reinstall on the seventh day. This is where you'll come uh, before the seventh day so that it will still let you in. You won't get that uh, unavailable notice or whatever it is. You'll come in here. You will select all, just like so. Copy. And then we're going to come over here to our notes. We're going to open up a new note. We're going to paste it right in here. And this is all of our user data for the iPogo settings. So this will be here until you delete it <laughs> or, you know, whatever. But it's here now. So let's say you've got it in here. You have to reinstall. You'll do your reinstall. You use uh, Sideloadly or Sinulous. Or if maybe you use Jailbreak, which is what I recommend as there is... Uh, that time of the year again so just just be aware careful with your main accounts but separate video um yeah so you'll take it from here you've got it in here you just reinstalled your uh you just logged into ipogo and uh, if it'll work for me i guess we'll just do it like this copy it all come over here this will all be blank more or less nothing will be turned on especially if you have vip Come down here, import, export. This will have maybe to this line worth of stuff, maybe down here. Delete it, come in here, double tap, copy. It'll drop all your stuff in here, and then you'll hit import. It'll do something for a second, and then you'll need to restart your app. When you come back and reopen uh, the app, you will then see all your preferences are saved. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy in this one. Um, yeah, this is, again, mostly for those that reinstall more often. I, myself, using Jailbreak, don't use this very often, although it's nice to have. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this one. Just a quick one. The next one, I'll be going over the new Shiny Scanner that uh, iPogo just released a couple days ago. It is very sweet. There are even overworld Shinies now. Yes, even Pokemon Go has overworld shinies. I said that a little bit weird. 
pretty crazy. Yep, so be on the lookout for that one. And uh, yeah, thank you again for everyone's support. Continued in a while. Sorry about that, but uh, you'll be seeing more from me in the future. So thank you again for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.